Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Shimmy Show. Back in Thailand. Hello. Ah, what am I going to talk about today? Well, I'm going to fucking get my hair shampooed and color some of my grays at the motherfucking barbershop salon. But before I do that, I wanted to leave one last little footnote about my little Philippines, Filipino adventures or whatever in PI, uh, Angeli City in Manila. I bought this uh, at a little corner store while I was down there, Koji Sad. It's like skin whitening soap, right? And they got buy two, get save 10 pesos or some shit. Um, it doesn't work. I'm still black. <laughs> but motherfucking Filipinos like swear by this shit. Every little corner store, 7-Eleven, motherfucking bodega, they buy this shit. And they even sell it on Amazon at home. It's got kojic or citric acid in it or whatever. And apparently, what does it say? Koji San, Koji San Dream White Anti-Aging Soap combines the youth regenerating properties of collagen and elastin plus the lightening effects of kojic acid. The moisturizing and whitening properties of the product will leave your skin feeling revitalized refreshed and younger looking so it says and this is from uh, Makati City in Philippines I guess that's near Manila or something I don't know anyway Koji San look it up it may or may not work I don't know most of the Filipinos I saw were around my skin tone of the other side of my hand so a little bit lighter than me but not by a whole hell of a lot and most of the men were about my shade or darker you know so anyway, your mileage may vary in the Philippines. I did a previous show. I got a little bit of hate about it on Reddit and some other fucking places. I posted the video saying, like, uh, in general, Filipino women do not like black men or darker-skinned men or whatever. They probably view me as one of them or something. I don't know. I don't fucking know. But I only go places where I'm welcome and where I'm liked and respected, and I feel like at least my money and time is respected. So I would suggest for black Americans to... Uh, Go somewhere else other than the Philippines for your holiday or vacation. Anyway, yeah, man, like uh, the skin lightening products and whatever are common all over Asia. But, uh, you know what I'm saying, real talk, it's like over there, um, I better get this fucking thing in focus, huh? It's like, um, hello, autofocus, motherfucker. In PI Philippines, literally the white man is God. Literally. I mean, they worship the Pope, they're Catholic, white Jesus. Saints are white and this and that, and I just really think that they want to be white. But they can't do it. It doesn't work, people. You motherfuckers are brown. You are not white. You are brown Asians. Get it through your head. You're not going to be geisha white. You're not going to be Korean white, and you're not ever going to be Japanese white for damn sure. So I don't, I don't really get what their whole complex is. You know, I never... Uh, I never had a thing for like light-skinned Asian girls myself in, in general anyway, I don't get that. But their society, billboards, movies, TV, and the media, you know, they all want that lighter, wider look. So, it is what it is. But realize that once the girls get lighter white, they're no longer exotic. You know, uh, if I want a white girl, I fuck a white girl. There's no substitute. I don't want like a kit car or a... You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If I want Becky, I'm going to get blonde Becky, period. Okay? And that's all there is to it. So anyway, let me uh, take my DCAA powder since I just finished working out. This is Mutant 9.7, by the way. 9.7 grams of DCAA powder action to help my muscles and six-pack abs and all that. I will say one thing, though, about uh, Filipino hypergamy. Even though, uh, where's my lid at? Even though motherfucking, um, they don't like me there per se. Or I, I noticed that they don't really look at black men or in the same light as they do as white men from America. I'd be damned if I go to the swimming pool there on the motherfucking rooftop on a previous video and take my shirt off or whatever and show my little want to have wannabe six-pack abs that I'm losing a little bit left now or whatever. Motherfucking, motherfucking hose eyeballs popped out their head out of the socket like ping pong balls on the table like motherfucking beer pong. So you can't tell me that they might be attracted to like a guy with a better body, but still they want a man with more money. 
a white man with money and a motherfucking exercise ball beer, beer gut belly is what they're looking for. So why the fuck am I going to go there? I'm not. I probably won't be going back for a very fucking long time. But that is not the topic of today's shimmy show. Today's shimmy show is very different. Um, okay, one more side topic and I'll get on it. After I have my protein drink or whatever. BCA shit here. Hold on, I come first, you guys come last. You know how it goes. 99 cent shaker cup with cartoons on it. Not paying $10 for a shaker bottle, I'm cheap. Semitic Ethiopian. Mmm, shit, that's good watermelon flavor. By the way, here in Thailand, I spent my money at the dentist yesterday. I got air scaling, a good cleaning, and a widening. See? Mmm. You probably can't tell right now, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Here's a quick insider tip for you guys who are fucking um, bloggers, YouTubers, people of color, quote unquote. The paper towel is your friend, and I'm saying this as a guy who makes movies for a living. Uh, black people, brown people, and darker skinned people in general, male or female, we have oilier skin. Um, white people tend to have dry skin. Black people have greasy, oily skin. Use a paper towel. Hello, it's your friend, motherfucker. Wipe off the fucking oil and grease from your face. Before you go on motherfucking camera and reduce all the fucking shine on your face. <laughs> you heard it first on the Shimmy Show here. Buy my movies, I want your money, honey. That's an insider tip. If you just even take motherfucking selfies with your bullshit telephones or whatever, get a paper towel first, wipe the greasy ass french fry oily motherfucking grease off your face first and you'll have a much better looking video without the glare and shine and reflection and all that shit. So anyway, that point aside, ranting aside, Shimmy the Porno Ninja has something to say today about something nobody, nobody ever, ever wants to talk about. And it's not about me, it's about Filipinas and Jews. I said the J word, yes, J-E-W-S, Jews. And I can say that because Ethiopians are Semitic people. I got a little bit of Jewish in me too. House of Abraham, House of Solomon, House of David, look it all up, motherfucker, Queen of Sheba and all that shit, via Ethiopia, so, hence my long ass motherfucking Arab ass nose, and whatever, I'm a hybrid motherfucker, I'm not like 100% Jew, probably not even 20%, but it's in my bloodlines or whatever, I have Jewish friends, etc, etc, etc. you know, I hate paying interest, I'm cheap, I have many of their traits, I'm a good runner, <laughs> So, miss me with all that shit saying, you're not a real Jew, ah, whatever. Anyway, nigga, I'm not talking about myself right now. I'm making a point here. In high school, okay, I went to high school in California where I had a teacher, a psychology teacher at that. It's a pretty good high school. They have psychology available as an elective. He was a Jewish guy, Ashkenazi Jew, and he married a Filipino girl. Like, he went to the Philippines, got a wife, brought her back, or whatever. He was the first person I know, the first Jewish-Filipino relationship that I observed, or whatever. This was over 20 years ago, okay? Now, in those past 20 years, I have observed and know personally, personally, three Filipino-slash-Jewish-man relationships, okay? And it seems to me like they tend to be attracted to one another, like white on rice, ants to sugar, bees to honey, whatever. Filipino girls tend to like Jewish guys, and Jewish guys tend to like Filipino girls. It seems to be like a very, uh, very interesting, uh, whatever, uh, relationship or whatever. But um, I will say that 0% uh, of them are together today. They have, they have an extremely high failure rate and almost all the guys that I know, they've lost houses, cars, I mean not just cars, I mean they've lost massive amounts of motherfucking wealth and all that they tell me is they got juice, they got the hypergamy thing happening to them and uh, I would say to myself, wow man I thought Jews were fucking smart. I mean you guys have the highest motherfucking IQs and test scores and that's provable in numbers. 
as far as looking at the uh, IQ aptitude test, SATs and GREs or whatever, Ashkenazi Jews score the highest, higher than Asians, definitely higher than black people. I'm actually pretty much not, I got mine as like IQ 117, so I'm in like the higher above average slash superior region. The motherfucking, many Jewish people are in the 140s and shit, and the 150s, and these are just average motherfucking people. So they have the highest average intelligence, I'm not debating it. You know, people, a lot of people can talk that shit about, oh, the Jews run the media, Jews run the government, Jews run this. I'm like, maybe they fucking do because they have the highest IQs and maybe they deserve to fucking do it. Who fucking knows? I, don't, I am not manipulating social structures here. I'm only pointing out factual numbers and whatever. If a motherfucker has a higher score than me, they got a higher score than me. Okay? It is what it is. I don't care who wrote the test, who designed it, who did that, this, that, and the other. Shit is what it is, right? Now, with that as a precursor here, despite having a faster brain processor and a higher IQ, how is it that these Jewish guys, the ones that I know, okay, the ones I've had contact with and I've known for many years, how is it that you motherfuckers have chosen the highest, the female on the planet that probably has the highest motherfucking rate of hypergamy on the goddamn planet? I thought Jews were supposed to be smart. I mean, I can, I'm a nigger. I can see through this shit here. Like, whoa, hey, well, wait a minute, buddy. Um, I've been to that country, okay, a couple times. I've seen the motherfucking tin shacks, tin roofs, packs of wild dogs roaming the street, destroyed motherfucking rubble buildings and this and that. And uh, this girl expects you to buy her a mansion in America? And every month send thousands of thousands of thousands of motherfucking, if not millions of pesos back to this little island? The people you've never even seen and shit like that? I mean, it's extreme hypergamy, okay? It is what it is. Any other country in the world, any other country in the world, even with Latin women, black women, other Asian women, Thai women, white women, not quite as extreme.